Hey guys, it's Sal here with a, uh, another video. It's been a very long time since I've uh, posted anything on the YouTube channel, but uh, I'd like to share this with you all. Now, uh, this is Apple TV. Uh, that's what you're looking at. But um, if you notice, there's an extra selection in the menu, and that is the XBMC, the XB Media uh, Center. Now, this particular Apple TV unit is jailbroken and a lot of people out there um, aren't aware of what a jailbroken uh, Apple TV box can do so I decided to post this video to see what what you're missing out on so in terms of Apple TV itself in my opinion it's pretty useless because it's pretty much everything you gotta buy I'm guessing I haven't explored it but everything you have to either buy or rent or whatever uh, it does give you the option to stream media from your computers but they have to be running iTunes and uh, use the uh, home sharing I believe or um, uh, what's it called here airplay and go to computers yeah it's called home sharing so that has to be um, uh, turned on on your uh, computers running iTunes. Now, to me, in my opinion, it's pretty boring. Nothing special. The real um, neat stuff happens is when you jailbreak the uh, the box, and uh, it's it's easy to do. Um, if I do find instructions, I will put them in the description of this video, and maybe just maybe I will uh, run a uh, run a video on uh, jailbreaking. A uh, Apple TV box in the near future but let's get on with it let's go right into the XP uh, Media Center and this is version 11 and this is what it looks like um, you can set up weather uh, view pictures videos music so it's pretty much, um, let's say, uh, the closest thing I can think of is either like an Xbox or PlayStation 3 uh, or other, any other uh, media box that you connect to your TV and you can stream media from your home computer that's running a media server. Uh, now, the real magic is the, plug is the video plugins, the add-ons, as they're called, uh, of uh, this Apple TV. Now, what you see on the left um, are the channels that I think are enabled, and um, there's various ones. One of the popular ones is Ice Films, which very recently has suffered a pretty big hit because uh, Mega Upload was uh, taken down by the uh, by the crusty FBI. Um, so we're gonna choose something else in the meantime, just to show you how how this changes everything about downloading your media from the internet uh, this pretty much lets you stream media you no longer have to down like down wait for the download and then watch it uh, this gives you access to content where you just stream it and uh, there's lots of stuff here you even I don't see any porn on here uh, looks like it wasn't activated but um, let's uh, being here in Canada let's go to Canada on demand and it's a whole bunch of channels here Business News Network, CBC, CTV, pretty much all the major network food TV, global TV on the bottom there. Let's just uh let's go to CBC. And we're just going to play just a few minutes CBC shows of the content that you can watch. Just by uh, just by streaming it right from the source. So look at that. We got all the CBC shows here, or most of them. I'm not sure how much there, but they have uh, Being Eric, uh, Little Mosque on the Prairie, which I don't find very funny. Uh, Dragons Den, popular one, 22 minutes. Rick Mercer, uh, Mercer Report. Look at that. Hockey Night in Canada is also on here. So we got a whole bunch of stuff on here. Ah, best recipes ever. Let's see if, uh, how hungry you can make us. 
We'll go right to season one. Now the Apple TV also comes uh, with a Wi-Fi built in, wireless, as well as uh, you're able to connect the uh, Ethernet to the uh, port on the back of the unit. Bad thing, it only does 720p, which I really don't mind, and it only has an HDMI output on the back. It also has an uh, audio out, um, optical audio out in the back, so at least you can get, if your programs are in surround, you can output them in surround. I'm Carrie Osmond, and, this is best and there you go. You're streaming media with no longer... Now, I know what you're saying. How about some real shows? Now, this is CBC shows. Um, you know... Look at that, global. But now, let's go to where the real content is. I believe it's in programs. Programs. Navi X. That is the runner-up to Ice Films, in my opinion. Doesn't has as as much content as Ice Films had, but you know. Anyways, here's the main screen of Navi Extreme. Uh, the first selection is the Navi Extreme Media Portal. You're just gonna go in there, and uh, you've stuff here to select this isn't a video on the application i'm just showing you how easy it is to view your content so let's look at something that's the most views viewed in seven days let's go to movies and ah mission impossible let's take a look at that let's see if this works come on tommy don't let us down now. Now obviously there is this kind of delay because it's got to buffer the media from the source so you can watch it without any interruptions, without any uh, pauses. So this part, in my opinion, is normal. But it is saying loading, we've got working going on in the bottom right hand corner I mean overall it, it's a pretty neat device for what it does and sometimes if it doesn't work you're gonna have to move to the next movie Now I was inside this portal, Navi Extreme Portal, a few nights ago and I was able to watch a couple movies over the weekend. But when I decided to do a video, I'm not going to be able to pull anything up. Let's go check out some content from the last 24 hours then. How embarrassing. Let's see here. Drive. Finally, we got some something going here. So there we have it. That's one movie starting up. Well, there's your audio if you can hear it. There is audio, I just wanted to wait for to hear some audio. Alright. 
So there it goes. What else do we got here? Harold and Kumar Christmas. I still have to see that. But, like I said, this lets us forget about forget about the time, you know, that we have to wait to download movies. But uh, you got some old stuff on here too, right? Uh, like the Transporter. Swordfish is an old one. The Mechanic. I oh, have to see that one too. But anyways... This is what you can expect out of your Apple TV. Now it also gives you the uh, option to set up uh, to um, set up a connection, a link to your home media server. I, uh, for example, I have a computer running as a media server where I download my my stuff, my media, and then off the PlayStation I would just uh, stream it from there from the computer I have running as the media server. Um, this also lets you add a uh, add a source, add the add your computer as the source, and uh, lets you view the stuff. Now, not everything works, but when it does, it's pretty neat. But there you go, um, Apple TV. We have another one. Hangover 2. Now because you're streaming it doesn't let you doesn't let you fast forward. Sometimes you have the option of going ahead about 30 seconds at a time. And that's because you're grabbing you're watching it as you're as you're grabbing it from the uh, from the server, right? So there you go. Cowboys versus aliens. Look at that, it even gives you a description. Anyways, enough uh, wasting your time on here. Apple TV, that's what you can expect out of it when it's jailbroken. Uh, and uh, yeah, there's tons of plugins. I understand there's even a live sports plugin. I'm not sure if there's a live TV plugin. Um, I guess that's something that you'd have to investigate on your own before you get involved with a uh, with a Apple TV uh, unit. Now, here in Canada, the Apple TV goes for 120 bucks. Um, in the states, I think I've seen it for 90. I think so. It's quite a big difference, in my opinion. So if you can grab one from the states, the box is pretty small. If you ask me, you can just shove it in your pocket. Not saying sneak it across the border, I'm just saying it's a small box. That's it right there, right? And that's just a cube. <clears throat> and it doesn't come with much. It comes with the Apple TV. It comes with a remote. Very small, very simple remote. Very thin. Uh, this remote actually even controls my MacBook. At least the volume does when I go like this and it's in the same room. Um, comes with the power cord, remote, and the Apple unit. And that's it. And an instruction booklets on setting it up. Um, but that's it. That's what you can expect out of a jailbroken um, Apple TV. Now, like I now uh, like I said in the beginning about mega upload. Before that site went down, this thing was absolutely amazing. Uh, TV shows, movies, like just full, complete seasons posted, ready to go, ready to stream. Um, and once they've shut it down, Jurassic Park, one of my favorites, uh, and once they shut out Mega Upload, it pretty much uh, it crippled Ice Films. Uh, I know that they were moving to a, a new service called Two Share, but to tell you the truth, I haven't gotten anything to stream from that um, website. Now, if you don't mind waiting, uh, maybe I will go to the Ice Films plugin and see if we can get anything to work on there. But uh, Ice Films, uh, it's, just, it's just not the same since Mega Upload went down last week. And uh, we got to exit the Navi X. And back up. And let's go to videos. Ooh. So Ice Films. 
Nice Films was the king, man, I'm telling you. TV shows... What are we going to watch? I started watching some Modern Family. Let's go down to Modern Family here. That's Sofia Vergara. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that, Mad Men. There's Modern Family. Look at that, only barely two see barely, uh, look at that, only two episodes. Now, this, I was not able to get anything to work from here. See that, source number one, from two share. Full episode is available, but, like I said, just not the same. So here we go, we'll see how it works. Working. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, this is a, right, hello. Is it going to start to play? Oh, it's just teasing us. I don't think it is. Oh. Oh, there you go. It's playing. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh my gosh. Valentine's Day. Day. Just around the corner. Oh, for those of you forever alone. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day. Anyways, guys, uh, that's that's good news right there. Nice film repository there from Two Share was working. That is a first. That is a first for me that uh, it was working. So, I guess bit by bit uh, they have to rebuild their catalog and stuff like that. And you got some you got some movies, music, stand up, as well as other channels that you can watch. And other channels are like websites, uh, Reddit videos. Oh, look at that! You got Sesame Street. Uh, I know there's uh you can activate the Discovery Channel plugin. Um there's also the Engadget uh plugin you can activate. Um but uh you know before you get involved uh, with um Apple TV, make sure you do your research. If you're going to jailbreak it yourself, it is easy. it is fairly straightforward to do. Just make sure you have all the resources uh, close by. You have all the right equipment, the right cables. And, um, yeah, good luck. But, um, once again, this video here, just to show you what you can expect out of a jailbroken Apple TV box. And, uh, like I said, for the, uh, you know, if the library was, uh, more complete, um, this would be amazing, like it was, uh, just, you know, last week. Uh, but, maybe with some time, Ice Films will, uh, you know, build its library up again, and, uh... Hopefully the FBI won't get involved with another uh, another takedown, shakedown of uh, these uh, file sharing websites. As always, have a good night everyone. And uh, we'll see you next time. Ciao for now.